Hey kids, I'm back. I just posted a, um, a video on Betaflight 3.2 and uh, some of the perks and the new things and whatever else in it. And I forgot uh, a couple really cool functions. And my buddy up in California, very gonzo, uh, my buddy Jim, who I became friends with a few weeks ago, reminded me of something. And that is the anti-turtle mode. And uh, when he reminded me of that, it reminded me of the BL Hell ES modifications that were done that basically make your lost alarm beeper go through your motors. This is the cat's ass, especially for these little dudes. Now, I haven't updated any of them yet. But basically what this enables it to do is they've remapped BL Hell ES. Now, I'll put a link to the description or a link to the page where it kind of talks about this a little bit and the guy who actually did it. And hats off to you, brother. That was really good. Um... And basically, you don't technically need a beeper anymore. Your beeper signal from your, your transmitter will go through your motors now, which is really, really, really cool. It's not as loud as a beeper. I cranked mine way the hell up. This one and my Kakute F4 all-in-one with the gold Cobras are the only two quads at the moment that I have 3.2 running on, Betaflight 3.2. Um... So yeah, that's really cool. So we're going to try anti-turtle mode too out in the driveway. It's raining. These are my brand new T-motors. haven't even flown them yet. So I figure what the hell, we'll go ahead and screw them up. Um, but uh, first on this camera, I want to show you the beeper mode. So we're going to turn our transmitter, plug this pig in. Now I'm going to, there's the beeper. I'm going to Turn on the beeper and you're going to hear it come through the motors. Pretty flippin' loud, actually. Um, so, what's really cool is, you, all you need to do is you need to put Betaflight 3.2 on here. So if you watch that video, I'll put a link to it right here. Wonk, wonk. And uh, you need to have 3.2 on there and you need to load the BL Heli firmware on your BL Heli S. ESCs, it says uh, D shot commands official. And if you want me to make a movie about that, I can. It's really quick to do. Uh, and it's all automatic. Once you set up your, your beeper switch in Betaflight, it'll automatically do it. It's very, very cool. Um, again, hats off to the developer that uh, came up with that. And for these little guys, it's going to be the cat's ass because I'm tired of buying beepers and sticking big old ass beepers in these tiny little quads. Um, you can see I've got a bunch of these little micros, and every one of them has got a beeper somewhere, either on the ass or the top. Um, so that is super, super cool. Very impressed with that, so thank you for that. And I'm going to take this pig out with my hat cam, and I'm going to flip this thing upside down. And in theory, you should be able to fly upside down, believe it or not. It'll fly poorly, but it will fly. Basically how this is going to work, the anti-turtle mode, and uh, my buddy Very Gonzo had brought it up. Have you ever tried this? And um, I watched a video on it a while back, and it was basically how I took it was, if you've got like a little, hang on, I got a brushed one here somewhere. If you take a little brushed quad, and you're flying around inside your house, and it flips over on the tile floor in the kitchen, you can do this little thing and flip it over. I was wrong. What it really does is it will reverse the motors on BL Heli S. BL Heli S. So it probably will not work on a brushed quad. Um, and it'll, it does. I tested it with the props off. It literally reverses them like this. So think about this. If you're upside down like that and you need to flip over, what you do is you flip your switch and pull it back in the direction you think will flip it over. It's going to take a little bit of practice, I'm sure. I'm going to take out in the driveway. It's raining out right now. And these are my brand new motors on my Hellbender. But in the interest of science, I'm going to play with it for you. But what the cool thing is, now if you're in super tall grass, this probably isn't going to work. But it's still pretty sweet. What you have to do though, I have my uh, anti-turtle mode set up on this switch. So you're flying around, doo -doo -doo -doo, you flip over, you land, you crash upside down. You disarm, then you reverse your motors, rearm, and then flip it. Try to flip it in the opposite direction. Wonk. I'm actually going to take off today straight up. I just want to see if it works. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this just because it's raining and I don't want to trash anything. Uh, then you'll have to disarm, from what I understand, disarm, reorientate the direction of your motors and fly away. 
So we're gonna go try that right now and uh, hopefully it works. If nothing else, it's really cool. Shout out to my brother Jim out in California. Thanks for pointing that out because I totally friggin' forgot about that. And uh, keep the shiny side up and subscribe. Later kids, check it out. Okay, let's see if we can do this here. Never done this before, so I can't even fly right side up, let alone fucking upside down. Let's find out. So, we can do that. Let's make sure it flies first, because I haven't even tested this thing yet. Alright. Okay, disarmed. Let's assume we've been flying. We flipped over. I'm going to reverse. Rearm. Wow, look at that. All I did was arm it. Flip it back up. Wow, how cool is that, guys?